What up, yeah, Gallish? All right, man. So we're gonna talk a little today. I'm standing. Here. We're gonna talk a little today. All right. So I'm gonna say a couple things first. All right. Once again, today is September 29th, 2020. All right. And uh, it's just after midnight. So it's actually the early morning of uh, Tuesday. Right? Tuesday is my, one of my favorite days. So I think it is my favorite. So. I used to work at CNR Radiator, good company. Um, that was a rough one, though. Still work at Microsoft. All right. uh, Asus Tech, ASRock. I was an investor at Razer.com, R-A-Z-E-R.com. Check that website out. We make great products. Uh, Trisonic is another one. I won an award there. Um, Micron Technologies, still that's a Nintendo partner. Me, Wario, Luigi, I, I, I do those. Grubhub, I do the Waze app. Uh, you know, we're working on Microsoft Azure AI now. Right? My my teacher when I was a kid, I was only five. He told me that I have a mustard seed. It's it's Microsoft. So watch the movie Golden Boy. It's actually a show a series, late 1980s. It's a legendary anime by Shusha. All right. And uh, shout out to Bitcoin, right, guys? Uh, use use merit and value to trade your intelligence. Um, I want, to know, I want a lawsuit with Rosetta Stone. You guys got to honor language. If we can communicate our hurt into every other community and make sure people understand what our suffering is and what, and what solutions we want, make sure we have the right intelligence and the right framework for our evolution. They'll use tricks to keep you guys broke and milling in a circle of hurt. Uh, don't fall for that. Uh, communicate with each other. Refine the best methods and epithets of your language. Don't fall on a slang or derision. Make sure you understand empirical values and real causal relationships to science and solutions. Don't get stuck sick, all right? Last Setrab, I was at Setrab. My, my, my brother helped me out by selling an oil cooler, but they got really violent. I'm sorry. Uh, and lastly, biotech research and development. Shout out to you guys, right? So that's what that's those that's how, that's the intro I want to start with, all right? That's that's it for now. So I'm gonna talk about a couple things today. This is where my lecture begins, effectively. And uh, you know, I'm gonna say a couple things. You know, I'm gonna try to get this done faster with more efficiency because I don't want to make long videos and just ramble. I, I understand now why you guys really want solutions, and I, I wanted to get it out there. I just, you know, sometimes it's good to just explain things, but you know, I'm gonna show you why things are important, right? So, you guys gotta pay for your shared experience and solvency, not so much always with money, but with good values and good value and with merit, right? And that should translate to money, but it doesn't always. So that's that's something you wanna consider, right? I talked about how if you don't have money. Pay with your attention span, right? That's very important. Sprint, they stole Sprint right from me. I never got paid. It's really sad. T-Mobile was the same thing. Kind of fucked up. But you're going to see. I, I, if I don't do the op mobile operating systems, you guys don't do so well. Because there, there have to be guild stipulations for sp certain industrialists for certain reasons. Otherwise, we break the whole market. I could just do some other shit. But then you'd go into that industry to sue and, att and attack us. So in the end, you guys didn't pay for what you have now. I told the woman she's, her phone is stolen. In fact, it is. I'm just saying, don't retreat to insecurity and lies, friend. You guys have to understand the underlying method of what I'm saying, right? You guys didn't pay for the technology in your phones and the research and development. That's what it is, right? So I'm sorry, but you're going to see why. We're going to catch up to better emotions. So um, pay for training, resources, education, but don't buy and sell lies. Give everyone a chance to, uh, and count your riches, not your spite, all right? The pain you carry is the love you withhold. That's good knowledge there. So... Dimensional density and order, right? Honor living systems at their level of intelligence and help them be their best. Um, if you see hurting others, uh, love yourself um, more and listen to your pain and, and where it is leading you and ask for real causal solutions. In other words, don't mill your gear and your projection for anger against other people. Heal yourself from within and then expand that knowledge of healing to others. Because really what we need is healing energy. That's actually what really transmutes us to better states or at least back to our sense of evenness and solvency and regularity and then from there you can do better. So when you guys are sitting around milling your herd over alcohol and tobacco, you're already admitting you're sick. Those are actually painful drugs. You're just constantly in that gear for spite and hurt. I'm sorry that it's like that, but you, know, you have to understand the herbal method is different. Right? It doesn't really cause suffering. It's actually reciprocal to your body and your evolution. So hurt for every tribe, not just yours. Don't be so shallow in your debt and perspective of others. We are human after all. You know, you guys know that. Well, observe perceptively with the whims of a healer how to turn that spell for squalor into one of reconciliation and harmony. Listen to what I just said. All right? Teach others to find water to cleanse, to nourish, to heal, and to learn. And explore but explore nature, but beware there are dangerous things in it, okay? But in the end, reach out and find someone like you that's reciprocal to your love. 
A third of the global population, friends, suffers from malnutrition and food scarcity. You guys can't fake market crashes just to keep yourselves seeming empowered. You want heroes? You want people that are going to pander to your narrative. This nation is too young for you guys to sell fake shit everywhere, all right? And just claim that you're too important to actually accept the love and suffering of others. You're not that expensive, all right? We're all humans in the end. Don't, don't make your egos look so costly, all right? Any, anybody could lead you, right? Just, just make sure it's somebody that actually cares about the direction they're going, right? If you want to stay behind and stay stuck and stupid, then you can mill that hurt, but don't act like we got to buy that life from you, right? Because we can see the, there's a world out there. So remember that. So we're going to solve this. We are industrialists, all right? We have these old lawsuits, but you're not going to win them. Uh, you know, we've, had, we've seen a lot of this shit in old Asia. The U.S. is constitutionally about 200 years old, you know, a little more than that. It's not enough for you guys to peddle lies and deception and get back into these cycles of technology. That's why I'm saying understanding esoteric teachings, uh, types of illegal, underhanded sorcery, um, and, and poorly stipulated arguments that affect large communities in, in your courts or legal systems, those are not real. That's why I'm saying we want two courts now. You confer with your judges, your judge confers with ours, and we will accept what we will surrender, what we will buy. You know, but it looks like you're losing the monetary value to Central Asia. Central Europe does not have enough power to buy the whole world's ignorance. Or our spider, or your pride. You know? Or your spider, your pride, rather. You know, you, we have to manage relationships for everyone. That's why Bitcoin and the solvency of, of monetary value is the best. I'm glad that you guys chose cryptocurrencies you would honor. Every time you look at that screen, you know the price is there. It may change your will, but that's according to your attention span, fan. You honor the value of things, right? Large amounts of money got scanned to make sure that shit is valid. I, I, I never thought I'd get an account uh, currency counterfeiting in research. When you do real work and it annoys you that the whole market could crash just because a couple of young adults or millennials or whoever you want to call us won't take responsibility for intelligence, that's when we get stuck. So somebody's got to do right. I, I have the skills. I have the talent. I love my life. I, I love the things I do. It's just that the world around us have to get better. So it's, it's not a skill to be insecure. Don't, don't plead to your helplessness. Figure out what's what you're suffering, what you're missing. It's usually a chakra or an energetic thing. We have to resolve our energetic intelligence. I think I think sexual evolution was difficult for you guys. Much part of the world was living in darkness there. You have to, you have to honor every part of your body. It's difficult to understand that, but you have to have a place where you can learn these things. All right. Um. <clears throat> so remember the terms eugenics and genetic engineering. These terms have been around. There were communities in Europe. They were they were taking genetic uh, information from like light skin. Um, women from Africa and Asia, and they were injecting themselves with that, so they'd have bigger breasts and bigger ass, and they'd be more sexual. But they never honored our tribes. And they've been doing this genetic shit for a while. And they pay for it, you know. Stem cell research and harvesting—that's really fertility cells, ovum and sperm. They abuse those too. You see? They even make or uh, batch organs in a lab, and then they abuse those. So it's part of those are really your ancestors or our tribes that they're that partially mining. You see? So they got to use their genetics for that. But some of these people are sick from incest. And redundant gene disease. It's not even incest. It's redundant gene disease. They just mine each other's relationships in small communities, uh, either out of herd or because they're imprisoned from whatever is limitation, or you know, really because they stipulate unhealthy habits. So I'm sorry, torture sometimes and uh, mixes with mental illness. These are libido and sexual problems related to the energy systems of the body. You're either sick or you're not training yourself to honor reciprocity. So that's what I'm saying. I've had people pay to rape me and then show up later claiming I abused them, but they won't give a real name or tell a story. So I'm trying to unravel this shit because I don't need this sexual assault. I, I hold down intimacy just fine. In fact, the women in my culture are beautiful and incredibly sublime to me. They're benign and robust with love, so I don't have to suffer for much of them. They're, they're wonderful, in fact. Love is always uh, easy and, and, and elegant and painless. It's actually supposed to be that way. It only hurts a little, but not enough to, hurt, to ruin you. In fact, it's something you keep coming back to. It's, it's a level of intelligence uh, and dimensional evolution that is extraordinary rich. Right? Remember the, the old sculptures of Mother Asia, this, that beautiful, robust, pregnant woman, that Venus. That's the, that's the lover, the woman and, and the goddess in your tribe that you want. And we want healthy masculine archetypes to go with those those powers, those maternal powers. So let's give everyone the chance to love and to lead and to heal, all right? Let's avoid uh, polarity abuses. Honor, honor your gender. Honor your consent. Honor your gender polarity. Know who you are. Make those choices. So these choices are, we make these choices before we even incarnate. Just don't get obsessed or lost in a polarity world where you're drugging yourself or abusing yourselves and tricking and, and abusing your own consent just so you could rule some type of fantasy you have. No, there's, there's, there's an ideal love for you. Just rhythmically ascend into it. And it's distinct, right? It's distinct, so. I'm going to talk about time travel contamination. I'm moving fast today, but let's do better. I don't need to make these videos as long, okay? So, 
Time travel contamination is about the fact that parts of the global economy, people broke the, the dimensional framework, and they, they traveled to the future, they extorted information, and they came back to the past, or the present, where we are now. And they tried to use market chicanery, or even events about a probable reality that were determined to arrive at, because we are rhythmically moving there now, uh, that they shouldn't have explored, but they did. Right? And once they got that knowledge, they started abusing us. Right? That's why you're going to notice some companies don't ever change their design or their formulation, even their industry standards. They just get stuck because that design can't change because they're still technically in the same year. They never really left that lie. They leaped across time, but then when came back, that, that whole block of time travel is fake. They didn't do anything. They didn't accomplish nothing. So they get stuck. They get industrial limitations for that. You're going to see different nations and their militaries or their advanced researchers, they get limitations or embargoes for different reasons. But there's a lot of reasons to see why they've contaminated parts of the universe. So there are dimensional axes where you can accelerate a vehicle to connect to particles or fixed points in other realities. That's a probable future, right? Uh, instead of being a volumetric access like X, Y, and Z, you know, your, your height, your width, your, your actual space, it's, it's a four-dimensional one. It's a one through time. That's, that's the accelerated vector. Um, so instead of evolution and stillness, the things we're doing and learning and, and moving through right now, it is an, instead a time axis, a 4D evolution of sequential growth, incremental and chronological growth through reality. So if you do that, you can basically rip through the universe. You just got to get away from planet Earth, go to parts of space that are vacuumous. There's no energy there. You activate that four-dimensional engine, and you accelerate. And you'll end up in the future if you can control that voyage correctly. Um, my family claims this is possible, right? And they, 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 that this technique can still be abused, but we're trying to find intelligent ways to resolve it. So uh, remember, if someone's abused time travel even once, if someone's used time travel even once, consider that it's been abused already. Because we're juxtaposing our evil to advanced tech. Ego, excuse me. We are juxtaposing our ego to advanced tech. You have to resolve how mature you think modern man is with a technology like this, right? What do you think about modern man if you had time travel? So um, the main force the universe measures is determination, right? So if we arrive at realities, if we time travel, when we time travel, when we are convinced, we will manifest those realities in the world of today. So we know we're going to do something in the future. We keep doing it from now until then. We arrive at that point. Those are the realities we're looking for. We get to those futures if our determination is fixed and powerful. These events we can tra time travel to into the world of tomorrow. I talked about this uh, fourth dimensional vector acceleration, right? You're moving dimensionally into the, in, through, in through the probability net of um, futures, unresolved futures, right? So we can move into the world of tomorrow. Uh, we can dimensionally ascend into the matter of the future and hence those realities are fixed because we are determined to get there from the world of today the world of now so it's just about our determination i talked about how the, the main force the universe the universe measures is determination all right so it's an event either matrix a 4d fourth dimensional matrix that uh you just do for that fourth dimensional matter acceleration right through a capsule or orb traditionally that's how they do it they go out into space they find a, a, a low um barometric zone in terms of energy and then they accelerate those engines and they could do this there right uh, star trek talks about going behind the sun but they're saying there is you just have to hide or you can accelerate too um there's different types of engines that do this there's, it's getting sparse now but people have claimed it's been abused too much already for us to tell kids that it hasn't happened all right so i'm going to tell you this shit is possible all right um that's why porsche doesn't change okay um <clears throat> You can explore certain realities. Uh, hence, Germany and Central Europe was bankrupt around 1992. They found our future uh, and reported themselves. 1992, dimensional and market contamination. Hence, Porsche design doesn't change much. It's, it's always the same. I'm trying to get out of these companies. Uh, I'm trying, I was working at a company called Tomahawk. Search on Google for Tomahawk motorcycles. We have other amazing designs, too. And we have a lot of cool stuff now. So that's what I'm saying. NASDAQ is fake. Mar market factors are relative only to current demand. You can't measure for tomorrow's demand. You guys can time travel for that shit, all right? That's what I was saying. Remember, they had a revision to the Constitution. Learn about these things. I can't even read this shit because they're fucking me so bad. I'm going to tell you, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have to do my story first, and I'm going to reflect on your, your illnesses. Because they attacked me around that year over this same shit. These people are evil. Um, so I advanced my mustard seed of psychology and linguistics. Um, Microsoft. Microsoft. Listen to this carefully. Right? What I'm going to say, this term I'm going to say is a lawsuit winning term. Okay, I won a lawsuit because of this. Ready? The software, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone. Cite that carefully, all right? That was the lawsuit winning uh, thing you just heard, all right? I'm going to lawsuit for that. So, Thanks to the more scholars of, Amer of Mexico and Africa and our ancestral tribes and councils for learning and healing. Bless the tribal leaders, all right? The more science prevail. 
peace, blessings, power, and sovereignty to the African Union. Your nations are not even too young in America. Or these, you know, Western monarchies and cults you guys are running. These government corporations are kind of finicky. Weapons of trans metal transmutation will outlive us, unfortunately. All right. So why lie for love? Just be who you are. Biotech. Do good work. We have the technology. Um, lastly, I universally disavow cult banking and family uh, extortion, home invasion, and across to my name. Respect my sovereignty. Camp and all. The Vatican must assist. It is over. We are not expatriates transported by the Jesuit exchange slave union ship. All right? Remain learned. This is not some old uh, weird Dakota lawsuit. You're reaching for the last little straws you can get. You guys got to deploy your framework for this criminality. For real. You got you to deploy it and, and let us resolve that shit. Um, you can't uh, run punk money on Central Asia. We got to speak to our, about our tribes, right? I'm the president of YouTube. I run this shit. I survived that banker for sacrifice, friends. I'm sorry. And found love again. Despite my hurt and pride, uh, you will see the light in me. All right? So, Jah remains the wise. Zoha. That is all for today, friends. I am. So, peace and love. Malik Rousseau Francois. Aleph and Rose. Rolls Royce and Brome Ducats. Bronx, New York City, New York State, United States of America. September 29th, 2020, Tuesday, 12.40 a.m. Omaya, Yoruba, Americua, Amexum, and transmission. Rome, ducats.